the beginning of me becoming a mom all jokes aside y'all all jokes aside because this is some real shit right here because when they say that it takes a village to raise a child it's not a joke it really takes a village that i do not have a village i have maybe the block a couple houses on the block i barely got a neighborhood and i'm learning that that's okay basically i hid my pregnancy because i was embarrassed of who the dad was let's just lay it all on the table Oh child, y'all just don't know how much I am struggling to record this video right now. Oh my god. But hey y'all, it's your girl Tiara Nisia. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. I'ma just go ahead and get right into this video y'all today's video is going to be a sit down video right now I am sitting in my car because that's the only way that I get some type of peace and quiet I'm not gonna lie I'm kind of nervous sitting in the car because if y'all don't know I'm from New Orleans and they just they like to call Jack and do all the extra stuff and I just don't have time for it tonight I'm telling you if you're breaking my car I'ma beat the <laughs> anywho so y'all I had asked some questions girl and then the ipad dying it's just a lot going on y'all should just see the ghetto setup so y'all cannot say that i'm not trying and that i'm not passionate okay oh now he wants to answer i asked y'all some questions on instagram if y'all don't follow me on instagram it is at tiara nisia y'all if y'all see me looking around it's because obviously i'm sitting in a car and i just want to make sure everything's straight but let's get on to this video so obviously y'all can tell by the title and stuff that today's video is basically going to be like a teen mom q a a little backstory on me for those who do not know me hey my name is tiara nisia i am now 20 years old i have a three-year-old daughter i got pregnant at 16 had my daughter at 17 if y'all haven't seen a line i'll probably put a couple of pictures of her on the screen so that y'all know what my baby boo looks like okay i'm gonna just go ahead with these questions so the first question that i'm gonna answer is the one that says were you scared when you found out that you was pregnant um when i found out i was pregnant like i said y'all i was 17 which means that i was in the 11th grade and realistically yes i was afraid i was scared of for one becoming a mom at such a young age i was scared of what people would think about me what my family gonna say about me um even though other people's opinions doesn't matter that's just something that I'm, I'm pretty sure most teen moms go through when they find out that they're pregnant it's like oh such and such is gonna say this oh this that and the third gonna say that honestly no i did not get pregnant on purpose meaning that it wasn't a planned pregnancy but when i did find out yeah i, I freaked out i was scared you know did you have a lot of support at the time when i was pregnant with alani i feel like i did have a good amount of support i had way more support than i do now realistically because most of the support that i get i ain't even gonna go too much in depth of it just know that i did get more support when i was pregnant and when alani was a newborn than i do now did you immediately tell your family no y'all i did not immediately tell my family and i did not even try to tell my mama i'm gonna be 100 percent honest with y'all the only person that i really wanted to know that i was pregnant was my sister because at the time of course my sister was and it still is like the easiest person to talk to i know that my sister somebody i can talk to and she's not gonna judge me and she's always gonna keep in mind that i'm human and people make mistakes so of course she was disappointed everybody else was disappointed also but i was she she's the easiest to open up to and my mom i didn't want her to be disappointed which is why i didn't tell her and she ended up finding out because when i went to the doctor i went to a doctor's appointment and it was my first ultrasound appointment actually basically f no that's not even what happened okay boom i remember so I had a ultrasound appointment and I made one. It was going to be my first ever ultrasound appointment. And the clinic called my mom to confirm the appointment. And that's how my mom found out. Um, I was able to hide it from the rest of my family for months. Um, I didn't tell them, which I didn't even tell them. Realistically, my mama told them. But they ain't find out until I was like maybe five months pregnant already so i was able to hide it because i wasn't a big pregnant you know was your child's father supportive okay so i know a lot of times when i make these type of videos i tell y'all that when it comes to bd um or whatever you want to call it i tend not to answer those type of questions but i can be honest i can be realistic um and i think i'm gonna try to open up with y'all a little bit more on that topic so was he supportive in the beginning he was pretty okay so when we found out that i was pregnant his 
duck ass was excited and he was obviously more excited than me because i mean i'm young you know like my world is over not yours type shit so he was all excited at first and then he went back to his old toxic self and he was honestly if we're gonna be 100 percent honest he was stressing me out a lot during my pregnancy and I ended up breaking up with him during my pregnancy so that I can have a healthy baby and so that I don't have a stressful pregnancy, realistically. So he was supportive at one point in time, but then it switched and that's when I broke up with him because it switched and it just gave, yeah, no, like I wasn't about to keep letting you do this, that, and the third while I'm pregnant. Like I'm not going to keep letting you talk to me any type of way start arguments with me stress me out do all this other stuff while i'm pregnant so i ended up leaving the relationship and after i left it's like he attempted to be supportive but i've done most of my pregnancy alone and then he tried to support again towards the end of the pregnancy but around that time it's just like it's too late type shit like y'all it's a whole it's a whole story it's a whole story and it's hard to tell y'all without getting too deep into details so like just take what I said and run with it. I don't care. Would you do it all over again? The answer to that is yes, but I would do it later on in life. I wouldn't do it as soon as I did. You know what I'm saying? So if there was anything I can change, I wouldn't change my child or anything like that. I would just change when she got here. Um, and Basically, I wish I would have waited. That's it. She asked, what did you learn the most from being a teen mom? I learned that you really need patience, y'all. Patience. And after I had her, I really learned that there's, like I have something to live for. And it really makes you look at the world in a different way. Like It, it makes you more cautious of what you're doing and the decisions that you make. It also shows you love. Y'all, being a mom really shows you love. And it's not just being a teen mom. And my the answer that I said before this is also, it's not just being a teen mom. It's being a mom in general. You also learn what real love is. And once you feel that real love feeling, it's a lot of things that you will not settle for no more. Another thing that I learned the most being a teen mom is that people treat you different when it comes to you and your child. And they like to treat you as if you don't know what you're doing because you're a teen mom just know when it comes to me and my child i'm gonna know what i'm doing every time of course if i need the help i'm gonna ask for it but if i don't need the help like and a lot of things you also get to learn how many people is fake like it's a lot of things that that show when you become a teen mom but i'm really just rambling <laughs> fuck it what advice would you have for anyone else going through pregnancy as a teen mom? My advice is to focus on you and your baby, y'all. Do not worry about other people's opinions. Don't worry about what anybody else has to say. Don't let anybody tell you that you're a bad mom, okay? Just the fact that if you're a pregnant mom and you're watching this video right now, you're already on the right track because it seems like you're very interested in the mom life. And once you're interested in the mom life, it's like no going back, y'all. It's really like no going back. Once you in it, you're really in it. Do what's best for you and your baby. Learn that other people's opinions does not matter when it comes to you and your baby, for real. And that's really something that I had to learn because being a young mom, a lot of people going to try to tell you how to raise your child and what to do with your child. But it's your child. Always remember that it's your child and make sure that you always put that child first. Friends going to have to wait. Family going to have to wait. It's really you and your kid. And start, and I know... It's hard, it really is, and it's stressful, but realistically, you have to start life now. You need to start planning for the future now because you have a reason to live for. You got something to live for. Everything that you do affects that child, and I'm not saying that to scare you. I'm just telling you because it's real life. Just do what you got to do and be the best mom you can be. There's no such thing as the perfect mother. Don't let nobody tell you that. There's no such thing as being a perfect mom. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to learn from your mistakes. Sitting there feeling like, oh my God, I'm not doing enough. Oh my God, like there's things that I can be doing better. That's signs of you being a good mom. Realistically, that's signs of you being a good mom. Because as a good mom, as a great mom, as 
a mom in general you're gonna always feel like there's more that you can do you're always gonna want the best for your kid just know that everything's gonna be okay take it one day at a time and you're gonna learn something new every day baby don't let nobody tell you anything about how to raise your kid it's okay to get advice from people but if you got your mind set in stone on something stand on that and do it for your baby okay that's how i feel do it for her or him <laughs> Okay, somebody was asking, how did I feel about being a teen mom at first compared to now? So, realistically, there's not really that much of a difference between then and now. Because at first, I did hide my entire pregnancy. My whole pregnancy was kept a secret. Literally, nobody but like two of my friends. Nobody but like two of my friends knew that I was pregnant. And I wasn't hiding it because I was embarrassed of being pregnant realistically i hid my pregnancy because i was embarrassed of who the dad was let's just lay it all on the table that's really how it that, that's really what it was but i was able to get over it i thought that i was still gonna be like hiding stuff after i had her but when i tell y'all the girl was here for two seconds and she was posted already and i was very obsessed with her and to this day i'm still <laughs> obsessed with my baby girl like i'm very obsessed with her i love her to death you know somebody asked is me and the dad still together no y'all me and him is not together me and him will never be together that's really it that's that's really it somebody asked what would you do differently now okay so when it comes to my next child i'ma just make sure that for one i'm ready for two i'm 100 percent financially stable i got everything together um the dad is gonna be there the dad is gonna be reliable um and i want my next child and honestly alani i want my next child and i want alani to see what it looks like to be to have parents that's in a um healthy relationship i want them to know what real love look like like i want to set an example for my kids that's really what i want i want everything to be what's perfect to me because obviously ain't no such thing as perfect but i want it to be perfect in my eyes that's a good one they say do you still have the same friends from before you had the baby y'all for a while i did have the same friends since before i had the baby because the friend the friends that i hang with right now and talk to right now most definitely was my friends before i had her but i did lose one friend y'all and i do plan on doing a story time on that whole situation long story short um me and her fell out because she was cheating on my friend which is also which was her um boyfriend or whatever i didn't tell him that she was cheating but i did tell her not to cheat then she got caught cheating and i, I don't know if she got upset because me and him were still friends after long story short never like i don't think i don't okay y'all realistically this is a little off topic but i really hate when my friends date for that exact reason because he was my friend and she was my friend and they decided to date and after i guess they fell off she must have wanted me to cut him off but i ended up not cutting him off because he ain't do me nothing you cheated on him and wanted me to cut him off but that's just wasn't gonna happen girl i hate that a call coming do your diddy and go past before oh Oh, that's my neighbors. How was it with balancing being a mom and having a social life? Y'all, I'm really still trying to figure out that right now. Because in the beginning of me becoming a mom, all jokes aside, y'all, all jokes aside. Because there's some real shit right here. So, <laughs> it, to be honest, in the beginning, the first three years. No, I ain't going to say three. The first two, maybe two years and nine months, y'all. No, damn near three years realistically three years from the time alani was born to the time that alani made three i had no life because i didn't know how to separate being a mom and being myself and i didn't understand that you can be both nowadays i do understand that you can be a mom and you can also be yourself and i also understand that if you're not your best self then you really can't be the best mom that you can be so y'all always make sure that y'all keep up with yourself y'all listen because i'll be giving y'all some real gems keep up with yourself keep yourself happy make sure you have self-love because that's the only way that you can be the best you for your child because i promise you your child realizes when you're not yourself i'm just now starting to try to go out and just now starting to try to have babysitters which is really just my mom and my sister um my cousin which is also a line in the ante, but like i'm just now learning that i can also be tiara and be alani's mom i don't only have to be my my mom 24 7 um of course you're always a mom you're always a mom once you become a mom you're always a mom but it's okay to go out sometimes 
you know i didn't know that at first i i just never went out i didn't go to no parties i ain't buy myself no clothes i ain't buy myself no shoes i didn't even know what size clothes or size shoes i wore i didn't know what what bra size i wore like I, there was nothing I don't know what I like and I really lost myself realistically I really lost myself I am currently learning myself all over again um and that's going I guess okay at the moment I'm learning what I do and don't like and yeah I can't even say how balancing both is because I can't balance both I'm still figuring it out how did you manage school and having a baby y'all I didn't even have to manage it that much only because when I had her, I was in 11th grade, but that was also in 2020, so COVID was a thing. So I didn't even have to go in person for school. I just did everything online. So I had her on 18th of August, and I was in class the next day, damn near. So that, that wasn't too bad. Y'all, this is about to die, so I'm going to have to hurry up. What is your top three I wish I knew as a first-time mom tips that you would give to others that are in the same situation? One thing that I, I'm going to give y'all three things that I really wish that I knew. All right, top one. I can give y'all the number one for sure is that you cannot, y'all, you cannot predict how your child is going to come out. I swear to God, you can't. At first, I really thought that parenting makes a child bad, but some kids, y'all, some kids is born bad and i can realistically tell y'all that i have a bad child who got an attitude just like mine y'all you cannot predict how do you think your child gonna come out acting and the personality of your kid is not gonna be the personality of your kid like your child gonna be your own child regardless okay like that, that's nothing you can do about that once that personality is locked in boo it's locked in that's one thing another thing i wish i knew is that the people that you always think is going to be there for you is not always going to be there for you. And that's okay, y'all. Because when they say that it takes a village to raise a child, it really, really, really is not a joke. It really takes a village to raise a child. And what's been so hard for me is that I do not have a village. If I'm going to be 100% honest with y'all, I don't have a village to help me raise my child. I have maybe the block. I got like a couple houses on the block but i definitely don't have a village i i barely got a neighborhood and i'm learning that that's okay that that's okay i'm gonna just make sure that i do what i gotta do for me and my kid um and just to clear the air y'all when i say stuff like that how i don't have the best support system and that i don't have the best village just know i'm not talking about my mama my mama is one of my biggest supporters when it comes to me and my child um i'm not talking about my sister no and another thing, I'm going to tell you all this. Just know in the beginning, you're really going to end up losing yourself, y'all. It may feel like you're lonely. It may feel like you have nobody. And it, it really makes, it may feel like it's just you and your kid and you don't know yourself no more. Y'all, please know that it is okay to, and I, I keep saying this, y'all, because this is something that I just learned. And it really is helping me now, y'all. It is okay to live your life and be a mom don't let nobody tell you that you is a bad mom because you want to go out sometimes you need that break breaks are mandatory breaks are mandatory rather you got somebody to babysit that child if you got to put that baby in daycare breaks is mandatory y'all that is also something that i really wish that i knew because i really held all this in for years y'all i held this shit in for years and I'm just now trying to find myself and I'm struggling. So learn that early. You can be a mom and you can be yourself. What is your favorite part of motherhood? Y'all, all right. My favorite part of motherhood is you learn something new about your child every day. And it's so exciting, y'all. It is so exciting. Being a mom is so exciting because you really watch this baby grow up from so small. Like, y'all, look how little she used to be. Little Alani was. Like you can, you really watch your baby grow up and it's such a beautiful thing to see. And you learn something new about your baby every day. Like there's new things that you learn about your baby every day. And it's so beautiful y'all. And the love that you get from your child, the, the sparkle in their eyes when they see you, nobody is going to love you more than your child do. I could tell you that much. Like it's, it's amazing to your baby you are everything and more like you're the best person in the world and i really love that feeling okay somebody asked what qualities of yours would you be excited to see if your baby got them from you i wasn't too excited to see it but the girl got my attitude real bad 
this girl got my attitude real bad and y'all don't see it too much because i like to cut it out these videos but alani got oh yo when they say oh yeah i hope your child give you just as much as a hard time as you gave your mama or when you have your child they're gonna do exactly everything you did your mom y'all this girl this girl runs me through the dirt <laughs> like it's crazy and alani i have a really goofy personality it'd be hard for me to show it on camera because i still i'm still getting comfortable in front of the camera but alani is such a clown like they got this one tiktok i'm gonna try and insert in a video if i can find it that really shows alani personality Check out the handle, switch, 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 don't miss, sorry, it just added a ton of y'all names on my list, because death wish. Like, y'all know that's funny. That that was funny. Alani is hilarious. That's my funny kid. All right, y'all. This video is getting pretty long, so I really want to just cut it right here. If y'all want a part two, or if there's any questions that I have not answered, y'all can either comment below the questions that y'all want me to answer, or y'all can just say post another video, and I will post another video answering y'all questions, y'all. I hope that I answered it as much as y'all want to know. And don't be afraid to ask questions, y'all. Get personal with it. I'm a real open book, honest person and yeah y'all like i was saying this is the end of the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'd love to see you in the next one bye